Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and another episode of Search for Snacks. I found these snacks when I was in my neighborhood Walmart market and they were on sale. I believe it was either two for five or two for six. I can't remember. They had four flavors and I picked out the two that I think that were the most interesting that I want to try. I think the other one was like black pepper and another one was like barbecue or whatever or regular barbecue or I don't I don't remember but I tried one in another review and I'm going to be trying this one and this is by Southern Recipe Small Batch that's the name of the company and it's it's a uh, Korean kimchi barbecue flavored small batch pork rind fried in pork in sunflower oil natural smoke flavor added so that's what it is this is recipe number 57. And it says on the back here for half an ounce is 70 calories and 210 sodium. That's not too bad. So in the back here it says recipe number seven, small batch, big taste. Our pork skins are Hand selected and cooked in small batches, free from artificial colors, and contain zero grams trans fat per serving. We think you'll love them. Small batch recipe number 57 is a carefully crafted blend of garlic, vinegar, and fiery peppers. Our Korean kimchi barbecue flavored pork rinds contains 48% less sodium than our barbecue flavored pork rinds. Okay, so that's what it is. The other one. Take your crunch to the next level. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Gluten-free. So there you go. That's the flavor. Um, we'll see how it tastes. I've had, I did have kimchi in a, another challenge. I tried the actual kimchi itself. So I know what it tastes like and we're gonna give these a try. Wow, oh wow. Oh wow, that like, oh, very pungent. If you know what kimchi smells like, very pungent. And there you go. And uh, let's get a good one. See, they have all different shapes. That's like a little strip. And then here, <laughs> this one's like <laughs> weird, but wow, I can really smell that. That kimchi then this one's like the little crackling kind I kind of like I like the puffy ones a little more than a, like this one jump and ship bend and ship bend and ship oh boy I like the ones that are puffy a little bit more than the ones that are like hard and crunchy I don't know what whatever team you guys are on the crunchy or the uh, puffy I guess is what you want to call it so yeah, here we go. And I'm gonna see if I can break this open without making too much of a mess. Yeah, there we go. Very crispy, very crunchy. And here we go, this is the kimchi barbecue flavor of pork rind. So here we go for you guys out there. Oh, wow. Hmm. Straight away, I taste that barbecue, but I can taste that kind of, not really sour, but really sharp kimchi, because it's fermented. I can taste that. I can taste a little bit of the barbecue in the background and smoke, a little bit of salt, a little bit of tangy. But yeah, I'm getting that, I'm getting that kimchi flavor in there where it's a little bit sour. flavor does come through it's nicely coated very crunchy the pork rind itself is nice and crunchy flavorful but yeah I'm getting that the salt a little bit of that pungent kimchi tangy barbecue-ness flavor I guess barbecue-ness is that a flavor is that a name I don't know one more time hmm <laughs> It is very crunchy. 
I'll give it to that. On these pork rinds, they're extremely crunchy. And yeah, more I'm getting. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Shouldn't have taken such a big a piece. <laughs> I got two at all. Um, it is big, bold taste. I can taste that little bit of a little bit of a hot. It's not, it's not unpleasant. I can taste that kimchi. It is a little bit like that barbecue sauce. It's got a little bit of spice to it. And the, that kimchi, I guess, is a little bit spicy. But it's actually pretty good. Nice and crunchy. A little bit salty, but then again, kimchi is that way. So... For my rating on the Korean kimchi barbecue flavored small batch pork rinds, <laughs> fried in sunflower oil. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> As was the chip. This uh, is pretty good flavor. We would get this again if you want something a little bit different, a little bit unique. Give this particular flavor a try. I'll give this one an 8 out of 11. <laughs> Good. It's got good flavor to it, a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat, that tanginess of the barbecue, the kind of unique, uh, unique uniqueness of the kimchi, that little bit of pungent sour kick to it, and these are nice and crunchy, so I would probably get them again, especially if they're since they're on sale. And you can, maybe I could try the other flavors. I don't remember what the other ones were. I think one was regular barbecue and one was like cracked pepper. And uh, I tried another one with spicy dill. So, yeah, I would recommend giving these a try if you like pork skins. If you don't like them, then find a different alternative. Because some people don't actually like the fact that this is actually pork skin. So... I can see why they wouldn't want that, so. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over here. And that way you won't miss any future content or when I go live. So, until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying something unique for you out there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have one more of these for the road and... Uh, yeah, I think I'll put the bag away for a little while because they are, you know, they are addicting and if I'm not careful, I'll eat the whole bag. So, until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I'll talk to you later. Cut. Take two. Small batch pork rinds. Flied and fried. Flied. Yeah. Uh-huh. Flied.